Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about Equilibrium in the Kink Demand Curve Model. Okay guys, as indicated in our previous video on the Kink Demand Curve, in this model what we have is a demand curve with two shapes to it. Up top here, where it's relatively flat, this is the elastic part of our demand curve and down here where it's relatively steep, we have the inelastic part of our demand curve. So this causes a kink in our demand curve and what we're going to do is just indicate that point and draw a line straight down to our quantity axis. So with a demand curve you can always derive a marginal revenue curve from that and that's what we're going to draw here. Down below our demand curve and dictated by the shape of it is a downward sloping marginal revenue curve like this. That goes right up to the point of our vertical line that I've indicated and at the kink and because of that kink there's actually a gap in our marginal revenue curve and that gap splits open the marginal revenue curve and also places that into a two-part diagram. So the second part of our marginal revenue curve is downward sloping as well but it's driven by our second part of our demand curve, the inelastic one. So we're just going to label that so we have our marginal revenue down here. The only other two pieces of information we need for any firm would be information in relation to its costs. So an oligopoly we're going to assume has our traditional U-shaped average total cost curve as indicated. And with that U-shape, we also have a marginal cost curve going through the bottom point, marginal cost here. For firms that are profit maximizing, and we assume this is one of them, MC is equal to MR, which is the profit maximizing rule. And we can find that point actually in the gap here. So the gap between marginal revenue, we assume is a constant marginal revenue here. It intersects with the marginal cost curve at the indicated green point. And we've already indicated where quantity should be, which is at Q1. And in order to derive price, we come up here, as indicated previously, up to our demand curve, and we bring that straight across. So we have a price one here for our oligopoly kink demand curve company. We have a quantity, and we can also derive a unit cost as well if we come across from our average total cost curve. So we say C1. So this oligopoly firm is making profits. In fact, they're called super normal profits. One of the key points about it here is it doesn't really matter within a broad uh, section here what happens to our marginal cost curve in that marginal cost can actually increase somewhat and it can increase up as far as this point here, marginal cost two, once it's within the kink of the marginal revenue curve, within this gap here, nothing actually changes to the equilibrium price and the equilibrium quantity for this firm. So uh, firms in this market can increase their costs somewhat due to market forces or increased labor costs, but as long as it's within the gap in marginal revenue, they will still charge the same price. I hope you call back to Cultonomics soon. Bye for now.